so far things have been pretty slow. We haven't really gotten into the good stuff, you know, configuring SIP trunks and testing calls between the different phones or checking voicemail, any of that, you know, VoIP types of things. And unfortunately, in this very short video, we're not going to get into that stuff just yet. However, in the next video, we will be getting into those types of things, configuring extensions and whatnot. In this video though, we will be logging into the GUI, setting some credentials and doing some more little baseline initial foundation type configurations. But again, in the next video, things will kick up and we'll get into more of the interesting configurations. I browsed to the IP address of my system and now we're going to set this to be admin and then the password is going to be Cisco followed by the two digit group identifier for you. So for me, it's Cisco 01. We have to put it in a second time and then there's an email address that we have to put in here, which you can just put in fake at fake com. They don't actually check to see what it is and it's just a required field. So now we'll click on system setup and I'm not going to save the credentials. Now we're going to click on the free PBX administration icon and we're going to log in with the credentials that we just created. Now on the first login, it's going to ask you to select um, the sound prompts language, system language, and time zone. I'm going to do this time zone right here. Then I'll click submit. When it comes up for the firewall, click on abort and click resend if you have to. I didn't have it, but you may, when first logging in, get a welcome banner that says, welcome to your new PBX. Thanks for installing free PBX. And they'll ask you to either activate or skip. Select the option to skip it. And if there's any sort of advertisements or any other pop-ups, go ahead and skip those as well. Once we reach this screen though, we need to go under settings and then we need to go under asterisk SIP settings. Click on the button detect network settings and that will put your proper network down here. However, you have to put your IP address of your system here. So it'll be 10.0.10 dot and then whatever you have up here in your web address, which mine is 101. And then at this point, we can go ahead and hit submit in the lower right corner. And then in the top right corner, we want to hit apply config. This ends this section of the lab guide. Next, we'll move on to configuring internal extensions.